Good evening, everyone. Um, this is definitely a case where the best is saved for last. Um, I do have to say, when um, Mirga said, Lisette, would you do the introductions for me? My husband was looking at me while I was on the phone, and I was really taken back. Because the first thing that came to my mind was, who wouldn't want to do the introduction to you? How could you say no? And I changed my schedule to be here, and I'm glad I did. Um, what a great night. The first thing I want to say about Minga before I go through all her credentials is, when I said, let's go a little bit through her bio, one of the first things I read is about her parents. And that's really struck me. Because when I think about Minga, I think about a couple things. She's a champion. She's an advocate. She resolves conflicts. She's a problem solver. She's an initiator. She's a coach. And ethically, she leads and she also lifts as she climbs every step of the way. So when I read some of her bio, she talked about her parents, how her mom worked as a nurse's aide and her dad was a hotel worker. And this really defines Minga because in the midst of all the accolades, her doctorate, all the other great work that I'll tell you about in a minute, it comes back to her incredible humility and the power of leadership that doesn't have to yell at you, leadership that can whisper in a room and you respond. And so that is why I'm here today, because I benefited from her leadership and inspired by her leadership. And so let me tell you a little bit about her. Dr. Morales began her higher education career studying and entering in Queensborough Community College, where she was in the College Discovery Program. With the encouragement of counselors, Again, even in her bio, talking about everyone who supported her. In the encouragement of counselors, she moved on, and then she also attended and enrolled Brooklyn College, where she earned a degree in education. She also earned a master's degree and became a permanent member of the counseling staff until she enrolled in Yeshiva University's Graduate School of Psychology, earning a doctorate with a focus on bilingual developmental psychology. She began teaching in the School of Education and attained the rank of Associate Professor of Education and served as program head for the elementary education sequence for several years. She was invited to serve as a first faculty intern and special assistant to the president and served in that capacity for a year. She has served in numerous organizations, including the board of Aspira New York and the New York City Division of Youth Services. She continues to serve the community through various projects on campus as well as in the community. One of her committed projects is the Human Rights Week and Making a Difference Conference and Dinner, as well as an annual Encuentro celebration of Latino bilingualism, where she's also written a lot on educational access, excellence, as well as in collaboration with other colleagues. For those who, you, who do not know her, she's a Vice President for Student Affairs at Brooklyn College, and she serves as Dean of Students from 1988 to 2010. She not only manages or responsible for extracurricular life of the college, she inspires people to be part of that, including athletics, health programs, and veterans and counseling. I can go on and on about her. But one thing that I hope everyone can take away is that she really represents what I consider ethical and inspired leadership. She is that person, like I said, who will whisper in the room, and you become quiet because you want to hear what she has to say. And for that, I owe her so much. She has inspired me. I always say I stand on the shoulders of such talent as hers. And with that, I get the honor of introducing and conferring the Alumna of the Year Award to Miga Morales, class of 1970, in recognition of her many contributions to the field of college administration and higher education. Dr. Morales. Thank you so, so much. Um, Oh, thank you. Um, as you can see, I do have some members of my family here. They came as far as um, thank you, as far as um, as um, Florida and um, and uh, and Long Island and as close as Sunset Park. <laughs> uh, I want to thank my family for being here today. Um, Clearly, I um, want to thank Lisette. Uh, Lisette has been an inspiration to generations past. Um, and Lisette, you're an inspiration to 
generations now, and you will continue to be an inspiration to generations of Brooklyn College students in the future. Thank you. Um, the Alumni Association, you know, um, you know, thank you just so much. Uh, you put this on this event every year, and it is just, just wonderful and so reflective of what's great about Brooklyn College. Um, I also want to say thank you for um, our student affairs uh, staff that came here tonight, accompanying me, and um, I mentioned, been mentioned a few times already, but I do want to say um, that we do have a wonderful leader at Brooklyn College, someone who has um, come to us uh, with bold and courageous ideas. Uh, and someone who has actually been very generous in, in her support uh, to not only the Student Affairs Division of Brooklyn College, but to the students of Brooklyn College, Dr. Karen Gould. And thank you. At moments like this, I do think of my father, Don Paco, or Paquito, as he was called. I think about the risk that he took coming to New York in the winter of 1947, not knowing English, and with little more than his energy, youth, and dreams. He took on a job as a lavapote. For those of you that know that word, it's a jar washer. Um, it was a time when dishwashing was in, was in levels, you know, you couldn't get to dishwash, you had to do the jars first. Uh, he worked in a hotel for many years, while his wife, my mother, worked in the laundry. He was the idealist, I believe, and she was the realist but each gave us something unique. My mom, the sense that we must help each other to make a better life for all. My dad, a love of country and an identity as Puerto Ricans, which my family and I wear very proudly. <laughs> Brooklyn College was not in the cards at that time. College did not seem feasible or affordable, but as I graduated from high school and luck would have it, I was accepted into a CUNY Community College, which I attended, and again, I feel very proud that I went to Greensboro Community College as well. Once I transferred to Brooklyn College, I did have an epiphany. I realized that Brooklyn College could and would provide and even guide, but it could not decide who I was or where I was going. It was the Brooklyn College family that supported me in that journey. It was the mentors, the teachers, the staff that encouraged me and even made me go to class on those days that I didn't want to go. Too much was happening outside. BC was the promise of a dream to be educated, employed, and actors in our own lives. And while many of us realized the dream, the generations to come must have the same chance that we had. This recognition today serves to remind me of the journey, the commitment, and the promise. It serves to challenge me, us, the community, to help generations realize the dream, or dare I say, occupy the dream. Thank you.